Hey guys, so here's my PC currently right now. As I mentioned on the earlier video, which you're probably not seeing on Facebook, but it would be on my YouTube channel a little bit later. Uh, definitely not going to be tonight because I'm going to be pretty much up up my fucking elbows tonight. Um, but as, as I mentioned earlier, okay, I, I, I do have the two video cards ready. I was just unboxing another box over here. Um, this pretty much contained the... <sighs> the water block that I'm actually using for the video card. Now, I'm not gonna be installing this tonight because as I mentioned in the previous video, I need to stress test these two video cards um, at stock speeds before I start dismounting the heat sinks and fans and loading this up, you know, and um, here's the back plate and some of the fittings that I needed um, to get this going. Pretty much the, um, the whole idea of this video is to um, run some performance tests and uh, see how it how it runs on a 4k resolution on a single monitor and how it performs on a 34 inch okay and these are the top guns in the market right now uh, there's nothing better than these two screens right now um, this is the 27 inch right here this is at 4k you got g-sync enabled okay now the only downside of IPS at 10 bit panels is that it does not have very high Hertz it's usually at 60 freaking Hertz. I wish, I wish there is a panel out there at 144, 166 Hertz. That is a 10 bit, okay? Also IPS, okay? And 4K. And, okay, and I mean 2160p, okay? It gotta be 2160p. I mean, come on, forget about it. Kiss my fucking ass if it isn't, all right? Like the one on the bottom. The one on the bottom isn't 4K, um, but it's close enough, okay? It's not 2160p, but it is pretty close enough. And that's 100 hertz. So pretty much some of the videos, if you actually Google or YouTube GTX 1080s and uh, look at SLIs, you're going to see uh, a lot of group of guys out there showing some very terrible frame rates and uh, some guys showing some great frame rates. But what I got pissed is because they don't say what system this shit is on. So being that I got the creme la creme system right over here, and I mean creme la creme, all right, it's an X99, okay, 20... Um, 2011 v3 okay it's a Broadwell E processor the new one that's out released okay I got sick dominators right here there's 64 gigs the board is upgraded with 128 gigs not that I need 128 right now but I do do a lot of rendering and stuff but for now you will not believe the performance I get as it is so currently right now I got this processor clocked at 4.4 at times I do push it a 4.6 now this is the 6850 um, Broadwell E processor, okay? I know some of you are probably wondering, well, how much is that shit? Well, this is the lowest one with the 40 PC ex Express lane. And the reason why I had to choose this one is because I'm actually putting in an NVMe drive, as you can see right there, that Samsung NVMe drive. That, sh that sucker right there, right? It's like over a thousand freaking megs a second, like unfucking believable in speed, okay? So that is the main drive. I got also a solid state drive behind the reservoir. You just can't see it. And I got the two terabyte drive down here. It is a thousand watts. This is an old video card already. And it's also water blocked, as you can actually see. Okay. But that's um, a 780 Ti card is what actually I'm running on here. And the screens I got going, that's the 27 inch 3D from Asus. And then I got a Sharp that's uh, 32 inches over here, which it's going to be tossed. This one right here is not going to be tossed because I do a lot of 3D gaming. That's just going to be up on the top over here while I have three surround screens right across. It's pretty much my whole entire freaking setup. But right now I'm actually in the process of getting this stuff done. I know you guys are sending me messages on Facebook and, and PMing me and stuff. I just, it, I'm not going to be able to answer everyone's questions and stuff. The only thing what I got to say is just wait for the video. Wait for the video. All right, because I'm going to be in the process of pretty much draining this right now. And I'm going to be taking some video coverages of that. I'm just waiting for a friend of mine to get here so he can help me, so he can hold the camera while I do what I got to do. Okay, so pretty much I'm just getting things ready here so I can start the drainage process. Um, removing this card, populating the one card, and then testing. We're going to be doing some benchmarking. We're going to be doing some stress testing, okay, literally on each of these screens independently. All right, we're going to do it on the one video card layout, and then after that, we're going to be doing it on a two card layout. And then we got to wait, unfortunately, till Wednesday, because Wednesday, I get a shipment of a third 
a third one, a third of these Strix's uh, 1080s. Now these are the overclocked version from Asus. They do sell two versions of Strix of the 1080s. Um, one it's like maybe six, 690 or something, and then the other one's like 715 or so. Um, and I tell you the truth, if you can get the one that's not overclocked, you can actually overclock it yourself within its own software, which I'll probably go over because um, they didn't have the other one in stock, so I had to get one that was uh, without the OAG uh, number in it, but um, I'm going to show you how simple that, that setup is. And then the system that you saw on Facebook that I had, it's actually over here, see? It's already been dismounted, okay? So it's actually sitting right here, which I'm actually going to turn this to a media server, yep, to run on my 80 inch screen over here, yep, with all the Blu-rays and everything, all the good stuff, yada, yada, yada. So with that, I'm going to let you guys go. Um, I will add this video and edit it onto um, the main video that I'm actually doing uh, tonight and tomorrow. So, uh, but for now, I just wanted to give you pretty much uh, a little bit of a quick FYI, a quick little summary of what's happening and stuff because people are asking the same questions here and there. So I hope this answers a lot. And if you still have questions, feel free to keep texting me and all that stuff. But I won't be able to get back to you till possibly till tomorrow until I get everything done. Okay, so don't take it personally. All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Ciao. Bye